Hey fellow Garage Golfers, we're only here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. And today we're here with a good friend Chris with True Golf. And Chris, are you going to show us some of your new features today? Absolutely. We have a lot of really exciting features coming up in Connect, and I'd like to just uh, walk you through and show you what the software has to offer. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and zoom in now with the camera, show some of these features, and we'll see what they're offering at this point in True Golf. So what are we looking at, some of these new features? All right, well first I'd like to start by taking you to the uh, settings menu. Okay. We have a new administrative feature, which allows you to lock out certain, um, I guess, sensitive areas like system configuration, tracking configuration um, on your simulator so that you can um, prevent um, just anyone from getting in there, which is really ideal in like a commercial setting. Right, got it. This allows you to lock out info and help, simulator, um, and system config so that in a commercial setting, um, you, you don't need to, to trouble your uh, users or your customers. Or even if you have it at home and you don't want your friends to mess with it and adjust it too. Right. Okay. And then in the uh, info and help, if you go online and you're curious about um, what tracking system, how, what uh, license is bound to this copy of Connect, if you think that something's not working right, you can come right here and check it out. All right. um, this is kind of fun too. Change device name allows you to um, change the friendly name of this specific computer that appears on the website All right. so that if you're a commercial facility or even if you're a homeowner that has multiple simulators, you can give it a personalized label awesome. so that when you go to um, perform admin tasks on the web portal, um, you can easily identify so those like simulators. Ours, say, like garage golf in the garage or whatever, if you have more than one or some kind of setup like that. Exactly. Okay. So you can set global settings from this page, wind, elevation, green hardness, green speed. One thing that sets our software apart from our competitors is that you can actually dial in a specific stim. That's very nice. I like versus that. just like slow, medium, fast and leave it to the um, end user to kind of discover what those mean. Right, right. You have a very quantifiable um, value there. Okay. Um, one thing that has been a persistent request by some of our uh, users is that every time you um, restart Connect, you have to log in, type your username, yes. type your password every time. So it's been something that kind of gets repetitive, obviously. Right. So. We have so now, now you've been added on the right side, okay. Right, so I'm in the roster. We call this the roster and this is the bench. So if I appear in the roster, I can edit my profile. I can go down here to security okay. and I have three options uh, to save my login. I can keep that disabled if I'm in a commercial setting. Um, if I'm in a commercial setting that I trust, I can say require password right. so that if my profile is on the bench, in order to add myself to the roster, I'm prompted for my password, but it saves me the trouble of having to uh, enter my email. Okay. Or I can hit stay logged in. If you're a little like me and nobody else is using it, then we can just use stay logged in. So you know, we exactly, log in. Okay. which is great for like the iOS users as well. Very cool. So well, That's nice. So now we don't have to worry. And then um, you mentioned that right. on a video before that I did that it always has the background music playing, but you can turn that off too, right? Exactly. Okay. So now when you log back in, your your profile will right. automatically be logged in for you. You don't have to do it over. Exactly. Which is nice. All right, good. And you can save any number of profiles that you want. It doesn't have to be one, two, or even ten. All right. So if a friend comes over and they save their profile, they can use that anywhere moving forward, right? Right. Okay. And so because I've opted for full uh, remembrance, I can join and I'm oh, ready to go. It's easy to go. All right. It's good Show to us go. how to turn the background music. Yes. Off if you can. We go down here to settings, All right. system configuration, audio. We can toggle whether or not we want the main menu music um, because some people don't like the main menu music but they want to hear the music in uh, some of the mini games. Yes. So this isn't a viable feature. Okay. So uh, we can adjust the master volume here, music, sound effects, and whether or not we want yeah. to hear the music. So mine was just the main menu, but if you want to hear sound effects like for the golf ball or like, I'm assuming like birds chirping in the background, that's where right. you would adjust it. Okay. Exactly. So okay. you just hit accept and... Um, Very cool. Right. And then um, how about modes of play? Let's talk about modes of play and what we Let's have to work it. with. So 
what are we looking at here? Is this the normal basic mode or is this the expanded version? This is the expanded okay. version. So we have eight modes of play total now. Stableford, modified Stableford, performance team stroke, worlds, actually discount that one. Um, Which one? World Series of Golf. World Series of Golf, okay. Yeah. Uh, match happening. play, scramble, and best ball. Best ball. So you do have a scramble mode, so a lot of people ask for that feature on specific simulators, which is nice. And you can play up to how many players together? Eight players okay. simultaneously. So if you're going to have a garage to get to go over, get with a lot of people coming over, you want friends to come play and do a scramble mode, you could have up to eight people total. Exactly. All right, good. And you good. see, because I only have one player logged into the roster, it tells me that I need a minimum of two players before I can play okay. a team-based mode Very of play. Cool. All right. Well, that looks good. A lot of cool stuff that you guys are offering right now. Anything else that we need to know about coming out in the future? Or we're looking Just at a lot of really exciting stuff with uh, portal.e6golf.com. We're in the process of revamping that entire web application. So you'll be able to get historic analytics about um, your dispersion uh, stats with this particular club improvement over time. Okay. And so, um, yeah, it's a companion product and it just comes free with Connect. So that product's getting ready to explode here pretty soon. Awesome. All right. All right. Oh, and I don't know if you've seen this too, the auto flybys. Yeah, the auto flyby is one of my favorite things for yeah, sure. Yeah, I so. love just like watching it. Yeah. Because <laughs> it randomizes the sky, the course. I mean, you guys and did a really good job with the E6 Connect, you know, redoing these cources. I uh, uh, appreciate it. I was actually at home. My sister came by. I was uh -huh. looking at it. She's not a golfer, but she was just like, that looks really realistic. So it's oh, definitely. Oh, man. Wait you know, until you see it by the end of this year because yeah. we're actually replacing our uh, vegetation system. Yeah. We're in the process of that right now. It's going to look stellar. Absolutely and you know what? To stellar. me, I, I know that there's other programs out there that offer 100,000 courses, for example. Yeah. But to me, knowing that any course that I select with you guys is custom fine tuned for that specific course, and you're going to get yeah. pretty much a realistic version of what you're playing. That's Without having to filter through all these other courses, that's really appealing to me with E6. You know, so yeah, I really yeah, I like appreciate that. that. Um, yeah, for, from a technical standpoint, the thing that's different about this, so you'll see like engines like the Golf Zone thing that are built in uh, these third wear, sorry, these middleware engines like Unity. Right. The difference is that they use what's called a height map for the terrain. So a height map is this giant uh, texture, okay. and it's a grayscale map. Right. So you have zero is black. One is white, and everywhere in between is all your slope. Not but elevation. what if you have concavity? Right. How do you right. deal with that? So we use actual lidar mapping. Lidar our is huge for yeah. golf simulation. So. And our team goes through all of that uh, data and reconstructs the course accurately because when you have um, a height map you're confined to the resolution of that map. So right. if you have a pixel here and a pixel there and something actually happens in between on the course, right. you just lose that information. Exactly. So, okay. yeah. Well, that's, that's really cool. LiDAR takes a lot of work, I know. So yeah. that's, a, that's a nice feature. And how do, just out of curiosity, how do you guys determine what new courses you're gonna add eventually later on? So it has to do with a combination of factors. Um, who's talking to us at the moment. Mm -hmm. Like if, if a course calls in like, hey, we've got to get, you know, we'll expedite it. Right. Otherwise we listen to like distributors and resellers and they're like, hey, it'd be great if you could um, get in contact with these guys and map their course. Okay. And, um, so, so really um, one thing that we do too that's kind of cool is we have a system called uh, Grafana and we plug in the metrics, so we send anonymous data from every copy of Connect up to Grafana, so we can see what courses are being played the most. Okay. And then based on like that course usage, we can right. kind of use that in conjunction with like what resellers are telling us, what, and, and um, this one's kind of cool too. This is a creative course, which is what the CC stands for. So this is Navajo Hills, and this course was, uh, this is as it appeared in like, I think 1930, two or four wow. and so we took a whole bunch of black and white photos obviously we didn't have lidar data yeah. and we rebuilt this course nice. for them and but before you play a course does it tell you more information about it where it's located and all that more? yeah we have that in the okay. uh, course description got right it here. got it all right and uh, so they're not all necessarily active courses that are still around today then right okay right, right. The, when you see the cc prefix Oh, and the course filter is something that a lot of people miss too. Like you can go to your 2.0 courses, 
filtered by the courses downloaded to your machine or all courses. What's a 2.0? So these are all the remastered courses where okay. we've taken brand new LiDAR data and completely rebuilt it to Specifically for E6 Connect? Yes, okay. exactly. So if I'm a first time user and I want to see what you guys offer, it'd be best for me to go in there and take a look at your 2.0 courses first, right? Exactly. Get an because idea of what the, you really have to available. Right. The 1.6 courses are literally ripped directly out of 1.6. We ran them through a converter that we wrote okay. and then um, dumped them into the engine. So they still look decent, but they're not like to this level of quality. Now, Pebble Beach, is that on the expanded subscription or do you have to pay separate still for You that? have to buy this separately separate. because of our contract with Pebble. Okay. This is one of my favorite things too. Check this out. So you see how like the, the sea looks right now, right. right? Okay. So we'll go here, go to our environmental settings, uh, wind. Let's just go crazy. Strong wind. La, 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 la. So back to pebble. Slam the holes, delete, let's do I think seven, eight. And you see now oh, yes, how the, see. Yeah. <laughs> a lot rougher now. Wow, that's cool. I like that. I like how you can change the actual time of day as you're playing and see different things. Yeah, because you might like start something and be like, ah, oh, well, I'm through my round, but I don't like yeah. this lighting. You can just boom, change it on the fly. And so you're now good. you have deadliest catch style out there yeah. while you're playing some golf. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> that almost reminds me of demo day yesterday with how cold it was and windy. Oh, so. man, it was horrible. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's a pretty, uh, pretty intense scene. So I'm assuming that if we ever did see like a premium course that somebody may be that's really cool. I like the way it looks. <laughs> so, like for example, I know one from the golf simulation world that everybody wants to see is like Augusta National, for example, yeah. right? So, if we wanted to add something like that later, if it ever uh -oh. became a possibility, probably would uh -huh. be a premium attached to it because of the name of the course, right? Right, exactly. Okay. Because um, each of those like really exclusive country clubs kind of has their own like license agreement that we yeah. have to abide by. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't be standing there hitting that ball. <laughs> probably drop one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, very cool stuff. Thank yeah, you. thank you. All right, so some pretty, very interesting things from True Golf coming out here in the future. A lot of really, really cool features. I want to thank you again, Chris, for, for meeting with us. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at home, reach out to us anytime at Roland at MyGarageGolf.com. We'll see if we can get you guys some more footage here and there as far as what True Golf has to offer. They have some really cool games going on. So if we can get you guys some footage of that, we'll definitely do that as well. Again, thanks for hanging out with us, and keep on golfing. A lot of really, really cool features, and E6 has been talking to certain manufacturers, um, I would say some companies that you could actually play E6 Connect on, and then having the ability to play games moving forward like this by adding an additional sensor is definitely an option in the future. Uh, so if you're looking for an excuse to tell the spouse as far as uh, trying to get one of these in your home, this could be a perfect reason to do that and tell them, hey, look, we can have games for the kids that we could play and have all kinds of options available to us. So this is one, this is Frisbee Golf. They also have baseball, they have some shooting games, they have soccer. So a lot of really cool features, but uh, I like that Frisbee Golf. That's actually pretty, pretty darn cool. So we'll see if we can show you guys some more here on the screen as far as what else uh, True Golf offers through their systems and the games that they provide. Now we got some bowling going on as well. So we'll check out the bowling aspect of it. And you actually do roll an actual golf ball, an actual bowling ball into the screen, which is pretty neat. So, uh, is there a different type of screen that's required for you to be able to hit like baseballs, for example, into this uh -uh. thing? No, okay, so same kind of screen that you would have. Yeah, any type of screen, really. Okay. All this stuff, for the most part, like the uh, bowling ball and all, they're all plastic, right? Yeah, they're foam. So okay, they that was foam. All can't right. Can't really hurt anything. And the baseball, is it a real baseball or a foam baseball as well? Uh, that's a real baseball, okay. but you can use a foam baseball. Okay, cool. Is this a different sensor than you would use for the actual golf or the same exact sensor? Yeah, this is actually a separate system okay. that is designed exclusively for the sports games. Okay. Uh, so it, it can track everything except for a 150 mile per hour golf ball. Right. <laughs> All right. But the real advantage of it is that, like, like, you have full room of play. Right, exactly. So, like, he doesn't need to be in the center. We have... You can set it up anywhere. And within your limitations of your space. Right, yeah. Okay. So it's just a lot funner for people to play, especially like frisbee golf. Can right. you imagine if frisbee golf had to be like, you have to start right here? No, yeah, exactly. So they're, um, right now it's only working with True Golf, but in the future potentially might work with other <coughs> simulator partners. Oh, no, that's the advantage of its own little unit. Okay. Is you can put it on anything. Oh, so if I have, for example, Unicorn and it works with E6 Connect, 
I can use this for the games. Yeah, you would just buy, like, and we actually, like, this system is really cheap. Okay. Like, we basically include it with the software. Right, okay. So if I have a system already and I want to purchase this, do you know roughly what that costs? Uh, it's 5000 right now for that and the eight games, but okay. that's just the special for the show. I okay. think it'll probably be six or seven after okay. that. Okay, got it, got it. But it's nice that you have the availability to add it to any existing simulator setup that works with your program, right? Yeah, we're really excited about that. Just okay. Because then it's... Another question, do you have to have E6 Connect in order to have this? You do not, no. Okay, so it's completely separate from that. Awesome. Oh, so you actually shoot little discs at them, huh? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. People that like first-person shooters even, people like video games, yeah. This is the next level interactive video game experience. Well, I think that's one of the best things about it. It's actually, like, this is a game you can get with like an eight-year-old kid and they'll right. play it. I'll play it forever. Yeah, very cool. All right, so just to update a few things, you actually can add this sensor to any existing golf simulator, which I've been told. Uh, you actually don't even need to have E6 Connect, so it's a little bit different product. Right now, the sensor that you see behind me, this is the addition that you would add. It's gonna run about roughly $5,000, according to what I've been told, if you wanted to add that. So for example, I have a Unicore system, but I already have a simulator set up. I can actually add this sensor. It will come with the eight games, and you can add that right now for roughly around $5,000 total. Now, if you get a package through TrueGolf directly, and if you're interested in that, reach out to us and let us know, but you can actually get this for a lot cheaper if you get in as part of their package already. So any other questions, feel free to reach out to us anytime. Let us know. We're here rolling at My Garage Golf. Looking forward to answering your questions. Thanks again.